Hey friends, welcome to One Little Coder. Do you know that you can do multi-language translation from English to another language or any other language to English just using a few lines of Python code with Hugging Face uh, Transformers library? You don't need any API, you don't need to pay money to anyone, you don't need AWS or Google services, you don't need any of these things. Just a few lines of Python code and a decent machine, you can actually do a good, uh, you know, something that's close to state of the art uh, translation service. And uh, the latest addition to that is Embart. Embart is a Facebook AS model and Embart is a sequence to sequence model that helps you do translation between multiple languages. Um, the objective of Embart is not just do translation, but uh, Hugging Face has got uh, Embart multi-language one to many MMT uh, model, which is uh, fine tuned uh, for multi-language machine translation. So let's quickly go ahead and see how to do the translation. We'll also see the code. So in this example, we have picked up uh, English to Tamil and uh, Hindi translation. So we are going to take an English text and then translate it to Tamil and Hindi. So that's what we are going to do here. So let me. So the first step is install the latest Hugging Face Transformers library uh, from GitHub because um, uh, some of the functions that we would classes we would be using here is not still uh, shipped to PyPy. So we'll be using the development version. So for, like the first step is install. And uh, yeah, you can ignore this safely. And uh, I, while I was doing this, I was also getting this error called uh, sentence piece is not available. So that is the reason that I've installed. But previously when I have tried Transformers, I never got this error. So I don't know what exactly is happening here, but uh, just for your information, install sentence piece as well. And the next thing is, uh, I just wanted to highlight the version that I'm currently using. So it is a uh, 4.4.0 dev O. So this is the version that I've currently used here in this um, code. So next thing is, oh, yeah, the other thing that I wanted to highlight is it is currently running on CPU, not GPU. So that's one thing to note. So the next thing is we are just importing two classes, mbot for conditional generation and mbot 50 tokenizer fast. So you can, I think you can still use the normal tokenizer or auto tokenizer and auto model, but uh, this is supposed to be faster. Uh, so I'm using uh, this one. So take, uh, and this is also, um, you know, um, like customized for a uh, language translation with the uh, uh, arguments like source language, all these things. So if you're going to do translation using Embart, this is a better way to do it. So take Embart for conditional generation and then, you know, download the model and then uh, download the tokenizer. Once you have these two ready, then you have to just give um, an English text. In this case, uh, just I've just taken it from a latest uh, article title, uh, the growing industry of personalized beauty brands in India. So this is the text that we are trying to translate. After we give the text, um, then the next step is you pass it on to tokenizer with the text, and then you just specify whether you want a TensorFlow tensor or a PyTorch sensor. So once you are done with this thing, let me run this. And after you do that, uh, now you can say that, okay, uh, you have to generate the tokens. So you've got model inputs from this, and then you have got the tokenizer and you specify which language you want it to be. Because I want um, Indian Hindi, uh, so I'm, I'm giving hi underscore in. You can you can actually look at uh, the kind of languages that it supports um, here. So you can look at the code here and then see what kind of languages it supports. So the next thing is once you specify the language, run it, and after you run it, uh, you finally you know use a tokenizer to decode it and uh, decode it. Uh, you'll get the translation. So. I am not very good with this much of Hindi. This Hindi is actually too much Hindi for me. Says um, Bharat may something something something. Um, Ayog. I think that's Ayog. Probably. Adyog. Maybe. Yeah. Like I said, apologies. My Hindi is too bad. Badti uh, hui. So probably it says that it is increasing. So I understand that it is good. But uh, let me switch to my language that I'm comfortable with. So that I can actually see if the quality is good. So the same text English I'm going to use and uh, we have already you know used model input and i'm going to say tamar and i'm going to call it english to tamar and then let me tokenize it uh, or sorry let me generate the tokens for tamar language when i do this this is done so you could have seen that the amount of time it actually took and uh, click translation or uh, you know like decoding done translation so it says india will tanipatta alagu porutkalin valarndu varum so it basically there's a little bit of um, you know um, you can change the words to make it uh, more realistic in Tamil 
but you can understand that uh, it is really really doing a good job like uh, it, it it does a translation which people can definitely understand so the other thing that i actually observed is um, you know for some acronyms it actually does a really great job so rather than just simply doing a, a, a letter by letter uh, you know translation or transliteration in tamil uh, when you use english it actually does the appropriate uh, translation so let me see so one of the example is like uh, for uh, united nations we call it un so un um, encourages wearing mask so let's let's look at it let's look at this you can increase wearing mask i'm taking the model inputs and um, i'm generating the tokens the same step that i'm doing it so you can see that literally it is like 1 2 3 uh, 4 5 6 7 uh, seven lines of code you have actually built a decent enough translation uh, engine without the help of any api like you don't have to pay money to anyone uh, unless probably you want to use hugging face api um, if you don't want to use it so muhammudi anivade ikya nadugal sabai ukkuvikirathu so the the what, what it actually says is it it says in tamil that uh, united nations encourage wearing mask so the thing that i wanted to highlight is i gave you and here which uh, probably you know you can uh, exactly translate it in tamil saying u n um, but ideally what it does is it says ikea nadugal sabai which stands for united nations so this is what i wanted to highlight that uh, it it actually uh, you know uh, works well uh, for uh, some abri- acronyms Uh, which which i didn't expect it from a translation service because even if you go to google translate let, let us let us you do the same thing google dot com translate and then see what google google does it so may, maybe google could have improved it but uh, let's see so again like i said, like you uh, like we saw the previous example when i say usa encourages wearing mask so instead of just simply saying usa it actually says america முகமூடி அணிவதை ஊக்குவிக்கிறது ஸோ இட் இட் ஆக்சுவலி அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட்ஸ் இட்ஸ் நாட் சிம்பிளி யூ நோ ஜஸ்ட் டூயிங் த ட்ரான்ஸ்லேஷன் ஸோ லெட்ஸ் இட்ஸ் டேக் திஸ் அண்ட் தென் கோ ஹியர் புட் இங்கிலீஷ் அண்ட் தென் லெட் மீ புட் தமிழ் தமிழ் வெர் இஸ் தமிழ் எப் தமிழ் யூ கேன் சீ தட் இட் ஜஸ்ட் சிம்பிளி சேஸ் யூஎஸ்ஏ முகமூடி அணிவதை ஊக்குவிக்கிறது இஃப் ஐ ஜஸ்ட் புட் யூஎன் so muhammudi anivade un ukkuvikirathu so you can actually see the difference so using uh, go even a tool like google translate it says just un so for somebody who 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 who, who is not familiar with un uh, in tamil would not even make sense about what what are, what are we talking about but what this model actually does is it actually understands that un stands for united nations or at least the tamil version of it and then um, it is um, it is uh, it is making the translation and then it is sharing it with us so you can see and the amount of time it takes uh, for for it to translate just a just a few few uh, seconds you have the translation in place so so if you want to use it um, you know to do bulk translation still it is possible for you to do if you want to incorporate it with um, uh, something like you know um, your edge devices or a web application it's still still very much possible for you to do it because the number of time it takes for you, for, for it to do the translation is really really less um, unless you know you want to do it with some real time service but uh, other than that it is it takes a very less amount of time and you could have seen that we are doing this inference um, on a cpu um, normal cpu with the google collab machine we are not using uh, utilizing the gpu and all it takes is a few lines of code so the debugging itself is not very difficult so i hope tra- um, hugging face would probably ship this version of transformer soon where we can actually you know get these classes but um, if you want to use it uh, now uh, it is definitely easy for you to use it has got a lot of languages uh, so the language that i picked is something that i can actually understand and i can tell you like what is happening but if you see uh, there are a lot of languages even languages like arabic is there arabic is not an easy language for you to you know use it usually because it, it has got an entirely different um, way of writing you do everything from um, uh, right to left but even it has got arabic uh, it has got uh, european languages it has got nepali and even within indian languages it has got bengali um, uh, and uh, tamil telugu 
and uh, urdu um, it has got you know bunch it, it has also got malayalam so it's um, we can we can even try malayalam um, so it has got a lot of good languages for indians as well but uh, you, you know if you want to try it outside india as well you can do it and again thanks so much uh, to hugging face um, and uh, all the open source developers who are contributing to these data sets and models getting all these um, state of the art models into the transformers library which has got a very easy api and uh, making it easy for everyone to do do applied nlp i think it is really really great and what hugging face doing is really awesome thanks to the team keep up the great work and uh, for people who do want to do applied uh, nlp if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section like um, hugging face said if you find anything strange please go ahead straight away and raise a github issue let them know so that uh, they all can improve it we don't want biases no one i think likes to have biases or any such thing in their model so you can actually help them do it so uh, if you have tried this uh, if you have any comments please let me know in the comment section otherwise i hope this video was helpful to you in getting started with uh, or at least you know implementing your own la multi language translation um, system if you have any comments please let me know in the comment section otherwise take care of yourself and then stay safe see you